My boy Nation stand up. My th out them giants. You know what it is, baby. Shout out to my AKs who support the channel, man. We all know that, like, you know, Trayvon Diggs is going to get a lot of flack regardless because he's on the Cowboys and they get a lot of, uh, attention and so on but the uh, the attention is definitely going to be on him now because he's been called everything under the, in the under the sun man liability not a shutdown corner over hype now i've seen jalen ramsey had some bad games i've seen other good corners have bad games but it seems like when trayvon does it they you know they they want to crucify him and um, i think the la game that he just had that was one of his, i wouldn't say his greatest performance obviously um, one play I, I didn't count against him, the one uh, to number 15, over the shoulder pass. I mean, he got his hand on the ball and just didn't change the trajectory of it when he knocked that down. So that was just a good throw, good catch by the receiver. I can't be mad at that. And then the other one, that drag route by Cooper Rush. I mean, I thought someone would at least tackle the guy. But um, big plays. He gave up two big plays against quick guys, and I think that's his kryptonite is like quick guys. But Trayvon Diggs this season in my opinion still has to me the elite written all over it like this is one of his better years obviously i think this will be his strongest year out of all three of his seasons thus far uh, he'll have a good mixture of interceptions and he's been locking guys down left and right um he gave up one big play like i said to to the uh kid over over here in um uh, la I don't know what that kid's name is, but and also Cooper Cup. So I guess between those two catches alone, he gave over 100 yards, 120 yards. He probably gave up 150 total this particular game when you count the zone plays, stuff like that underneath. So, you know, there, there you can see, though, clearly he got his hand on that ball and was almost knocking that out. But um, Trayvon definitely is going to get his flack for that. But one play doesn't make the man, man. When you look at uh, the body of work that Trayvon has put together this season thus far, uh, he's just night and day different from everybody else that's out here. And I mean, his ball skills, the way he approaches the game, some of the things he does uh, as far as communication and so on, like he's a different breed. And I think they're going to start switching a lot more wide receivers to corners in college to try to get this same effect because... He's just natural at going after the ball, and sometimes he does pay for it, but I don't think he's had a lapse in judgment this year. Uh, those two big plays, you know, the offense, as I said, they have to, they have to perform too, they get paid too. So um, those two plays were big plays, but he was where he needed to be on both of them. Um, I just felt like he just didn't finish on the drag route. Uh, he could have secured that tackle in your one-on-one, -on -one, you have to. Um, and then also on that deep play, um, he just didn't change the trajectory of the ball. Like he got there, he and he got his hand on the ball. I ain't get that. I ain't get that. I ain't get that. I ain't get that. But he's, he's a student of the game. The out thing that he's starting to do now, he's going to see something special out of Trayvon Diggs this upcoming or this season as the season progresses. Uh, he, he was sitting on the sideline just now, looking for the out and up against the Washington Commanders, and then you can see uh, he calls the out and up, and then runs diagonally straight through the route so that he can cut this route off and did an excellent job with it. So, as I said, like, you know, even Dez knows what's up. But as I said, uh, Trayvon is the type of player that you don't see come around uh, that often. You know, you have man cover corners. You have corners who are just lights out, can stop any and everything. But for the most part, the, the, what I look at, what I see is his game and the way he plays is a guy who thinks that the ball is being thrown to him uh, when the opposition throws the ball and he's always in pretty good position. Um, I'd say that the big plays that he's given up uh, in the Rams game, it's one thing to have Trayvon, you know, just mad because the media has been on his ass all off season. It's another thing for him to actually uh, make a bonehead play and have that chip on his shoulder too because what I found is an uh, angry Trayvon is a good, a good football player. So. Um, I'm still, we're, we're not mad at that either. Like like I said, we're, we're getting the best out of uh, Trayvon Diggs at this point. And, and what I see on film, man, Trayvon is definitely top in the league. He doesn't like to say he's top five. He don't have a top five. But, uh, you know, if there is a top five, he's in it. Uh, he's in it. And I'll go ahead and put him there. There go LV not committing to that interception right there. He could have got. But, uh, you know, that's LV for you, man. That's why Cox need to be in there eventually. Um, shout out to the Cowboys, shout out to Trayvon Diggs for, for the way he's put together this season thus far. 
Uh, I feel like you know this season you'll you you're gonna see some uh, cornerback play. That's uh, that's a, that's rare. He's in rare form right now, uh, and I'm glad that he gave up those plays in the um, Rams game because, like I said, you're gonna get the best out of Trayvon Diggs now, and uh, it's really gonna be something, man. So, um, shout out to the AKs who support the channel. As I said before, you guys are witnessing greatness when it comes to Trayvon Diggs. That's not fanboy talk. I really think that Trayvon Diggs is one of the best corners in the league, if not the best. Uh, and I think a lot of people are going to keep challenging that because he keeps getting called that. So he's up for the challenge, man. He's up for the challenge. Like I said, he he he, uh, he lost the challenge to Matt Stafford, but I don't think that'll keep happening, man. Let's see what's up, though. Peace.